Saturday. We call them Supper Saturdays because they're usually a little bit longer, a little bit crappier. We, however, are going to start the same way we always do with 10 belly breaths. In through the nose, filling up that full 360 out through the mouth. We do this, guys, because we are trying to take that time to just stop, be in that moment, give ourselves the grace and space to be present for this workout today. Once we've done that, we're going to do a 100 meter run. If you're not sure where that is, go two neighbor driveways down and head on back, close enough. Once we do that, we're going to do 10 up downs. Many of you guys are very familiar with burpees. It's essentially a burpee without the push up. I'm going to plant my hands, jump my feet back. One. Two. If we need to, plant your hands. Step it back. Step it forward. That works. We're then going to get the hips warmed up because we know we've got a thruster today, which is a squatting movement. We're going to take our heels outside of our hips. I'm going to use my hands to grab my toes. I'm going to come down, grab my toes with this long, high hip. From here, I'm going to start to sink the knees down. I'm going to take my elbow, push my knees open, try and bring my chest nice and tall, and then back up. Five Russian baby makers. I don't know why they're called a the Russian baby maker. I didn't name them. I just programmed them. So we're going to do that for three rounds today, guys. Once we come back and finish that third round, we're going to go into a 20-minute AMRAP which means as many rounds as possible in 20 minutes of work. Good news is you know you're, up, you're done in 20 minutes, right? There's a, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Bad news is you gotta work for 20 minutes. Dumbbell thruster. If we don't have dumbbells at home, don't overthink it. If we've got a barbell, use a barbell. If we've got kettlebells, you use your kettlebell. Right? Get creative with what we've got. If we don't have anything, just do an air squat. But in this case, we are going to assume that you've got a set of dumbbells. Head of the dumbbell is going to go ahead and touch the shoulder. Foot position, just like any air squat we do, heels outside of the hips. If 12 is straightforward, I'm going to put one foot at 1 and one foot at 11. From here, I'm going to look to get that hip creasing the knee. On the way up, I'm going to drive through the hip and extend all the way into an overhead position without arching in my back. I always want to think, keep that rib cage nice and locked in. Ideally, we're going to wait until I come out of the bottom of that squat to drive up through the hands versus out of this bottom position starting to press before that hip is open. So we're going to do 20 dumbbell thrusters. We're then going to ditch the weights and we're going to do 10 box jumps. Both feet are going to leave the ground at the same time. Both feet are going to hit the box at the same time. We're looking for a nice, solid landing. When I hit, I want my entire foot on the box. I also want my knees stacked over my ankles. From there, I'm going to take off on a 400 meter run. If we've got a rower, go ahead and use that. If we've got a bike, go ahead and use that. If you're not sure how, full, how far 400 meters out is, go out for 45 seconds. Take 45 seconds to get back in. 20 minute AMRAP, so as many rounds as possible in 20 minutes. From there, once we get our heart rate back down, we're gonna go to a Tabata finisher. So a Tabata is always the same time domain. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Movement is up to you. Today, we're going to do a plank. We're assuming we're all going to do a high plank. Wrist, elbow, shoulder are going to be stacked. From here, we're going to look to keep a nice straight body position. I do this by thinking about bottom of the rib cage coming into the top of the hip and squeezing my butt. So we want to avoid mountains and we want to avoid valleys. We'll go 20 seconds on. 10 seconds of rest, and then that